How are they doing? Still both sound asleep like the past several days. Well, cat's out of the bag. How do you want to deal with this? Honestly, no idea. I know it was bound to happen eventually, but the more things are playing out, the more I think that Lilith... Shh! We don't know who could be listening. I know we're starting to not go with the plan, but I'd rather not start that fight till later. Ah, yes. Kick the problem down the road. Worked so well in the past. Hey, when you have better ideas, be my guest in solving that problem. Good point, but he isn't going to be happy. When has he been happy in the past few centuries, brother? Yes? What is it, Zoe? Um, sorry to bother you again, but how are they? Still no change. Both of them are as still as, well, corpses. Like, their vitals are fine, but better than fine, actually. But they aren't waking up. Anything we can do? Both Leo, Lydia, and, well, myself are going crazy not being able to find ways to help them. Let me see. What? Ha! Yes! What? Uh, what? Oh, not again. Why do I keep passing out all the time? You're awake! Thank goodness! Thanks for the hug. Um, uh, what happened? I, I know I've said this a lot in the past few days, but... But? I... I... Uh, I feel different. That and my entire body feels, well... Itchy? Child, that's because you are different. Um, hi, uh, wh what do you mean? Remember when I said not to look too far into the past and the random insistent headaches? Uh, yes. That's because of, well, me. Part of it, anyways. I'm sorry, what? Since you woke up a couple of months ago, I've been trying to get in contact with you, but the spell you were under made it complicated. Were? When she helped her friend over there, the spell started to unravel. It will take time, but eventually she'll be just like she was before the spell was cast. So she might need help to control her gifts. At least at the start. W wait a minute, I'm sorry, did you say gifts? I don't want to overload you with too much information. Don't want to mess up your brain more than the spell already has. And if you remember everything all at once, you might not be the same afterwards, and I'd rather you have all your marbles than not. Okay, makes sense, but seriously, what differences? Guess your one-track mind never changed. You have magical abilities, like your friend Zoe here, Orion, and the Fey twins making holes in the grass of the nice lady's house out front. H how did you know my name? 
I don't recall telling you. Dear, my power is that of the light, opposite of my twin brother Merrick. So, I know all who have light type magic, and that you haven't even tapped the surface of what you can do with yours. That, and as a god myself, I have excellent hearing, especially when it involves these two. Makes sense. So, what type of light magic does Nixie have? Well, it depends. As a base, she can heal, supply light, and, if she gets angry enough, melt whatever she aims at. Along with more specialized sk skills, but again, I don't want to overload. That's just her base type of light magic? Yes, she has the ability to use all elemental type magic, individual and combined. Besides shadow magic, that is. Unless she and Orion decide to combine their magic in an attack. She is very skilled at using her magic on an instinct. She can use spells too, of course, but to say and lay out spells, spells takes time. Which, in some instances, is something she does not or did not have. But, as I said before, these skills should come back in to her in time. Speaking of which, has the kid woken up yet? Glad to see you're awake, miss. <sighs> Brother, what did I tell you about sneaking up on people? I know, I know, I forgot. Just worried about the kid. True. wake up and not feel like I got beaten up without recalling getting into a fight. Oh, thank goodness you're awake. Don't, don't scare us like that again, or at least not in the near future. Uh, sorry? All I remember is getting our food, then... Merrick? What are you doing here? And... This is my sister Lucinda. Hello, child. And I'm here because I almost lost you. Oh, um, hello, ma'am. What do you mean you almost lost me? Uh, you, you were asleep and wouldn't wake up. And I, I guess I did, did something? I guess whatever I did worked, even if I don't quite feel right anymore. Uh, I guess thanks is in order. <sighs> Honestly, thank you guys. Uh, I felt like I was in a void, trapped in my own body, unable to move. Did he even tell you I was still there and could hear you? Ugh, that sounds horrible. Lydia? Leo, what? You're awake! Ow, ow. Uh, good, good to see you guys too, uh, Lydia. Uh, Leo. In the future, can we please stop with the sudden heart attacks? <laughs> we can try, but n no promises. Fair. How are you all doing, Orion? Mean anything? Uh... Food? I feel like I haven't eaten in a week. Same. Strange. Usually not hungry after sleeping. That's your magic reawakening. You'll need to make sure to not forget to eat from here on out. For if you do, your body will find ways to remind you. Whether that by making you fall asleep for a few days straight, or making you constantly think of food until you eat. From personal experience, it's better just to keep some food on you. Constantly thinking about food is is not fun. Okay, duly noted. Well, we've been gone for too long. Our absence, if not noticed already, soon will be. So, we will be taking our leave. I'm glad everything turned out okay. And I will be seeing you to, you soon, child. And you two, try not to do what you just did in the near future, 
but also, I'll be seeing you soon. You need to get your source thing figured out, Orion, now that you're back in the overworld again. Now that the two of you are awake, I can actually ask if there's anything that still needs to be looked at. Other than being weirdly itchy all over, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just stiff. Why are you asking if you don't mind me? Okay. Well, the two of you have been out for the past several days. Keeping Lydia, Leo, and Zoe occupied for those days has been a challenge. We didn't mean to. Yeah, we had people we were worried about. Since when have I been someone you're worried about? Since you made our friend cry? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't crying. Uh, yes you were. Um, anyways, honestly, just being hungry and stiff, I'm fine. Most of my problems now is to not use magic so my mana can replenish itself. Alright, uh, good point. Nixie, any other issues? Uh, no, besides my entire body feeling itchy, but I'm good. Uh, well, besides being hungry, <laughs> that is. Hmm, okay, I best get cooking then. Hope everyone's hungry. Why so much food? Because two of you just woke up from, if what I gathered is correctly, short-term magic-induced comas, meaning they need as much food as possible to even remotely feel normal. Do try to leave some for the rest of us, hmm? Hey, I'm not... But your, your stomach says otherwise. He's not the only one. Um, let's just eat then. I didn't know I could eat that much, to be honest. Usually I try and eat as little as possible, but just enough to basically feel full. Uh, just in case I'll need, you know, some food. Some of the food I was eating later or something. Well, that's not completely healthy. Although... I can't remember if I did that where I'd eat as little as possible before or after I woke up. Does it matter? Either way, I hope you've stopped doing that or are more conscious of when you do it and try to stop that habit. I, I think I've changed it. Um, I do try and eat as much as I need to. Yeah, I mean, since waking up, I've had people constantly worried about me and my well-being, which is nice. Doesn't always like that. Are some of your memories coming back? I'm... I'm not sure. Uh, possibly? So far, I just remember the little things. Well... If you start to feel overwhelmed, you just let one of us know, okay? We'll try and help you out as much as we are able. Eh, I'll try and remember that, thanks. No problem. Um, has anything else resurfaced? Since I'm the one with 
powers closest to what Lady Lucinda said you had. I wanted to know if I could. I wanted to know so I can keep an eye on you and help you regain control over them. Um, besides that light that I produced when I was trying to help Orion the other day, nothing else has really happened. Okay, well, like with the memories, I'll keep you posted. Is anyone dis discussed on what we do next? I'm sure Jack. I'm sure Jane doesn't. I'm sure Jane doesn't mind us staying at her place, but I don't want to push your hospitality too much. Uh, not sure, actually. I think we were just waiting until you and Orion felt like you could make it more than, oh, I don't know, ten feet without feeling dizzy. I'm feeling better. Oh! Hello, um, that's good to hear. Like I was just telling Nixie here, you two need to tell us if we can help you with anything, or if you're feeling off. I'll try and remember that. I'm used to having to do everything myself and not being able to count on many people, so forgive me if it takes me a bit to trust that you all actually mean to help me and not have any strings attached. Oh, uh, Leah, Lydia and Leo said that they wanted to discuss what to do next, since both myself and Nixie are up and feeling better. Alright, so everyone's down for heading to the academy now, right? Yep. Well, we better get started. Don't want it to get dark on us. Well, this school is unusually small. What do you mean? Looks pretty big to me. The one I went to felt and looked huge compared to this one. Huh. Okay. Where'd you go to school if you don't mind sharing? I went to the Eden Institute in Frostmount. Wait. Frostmount? As in Frostmount Isle? Didn't Miss Jane say that's where she and Galena met? I think so, yes. Funny how this huge world isn't quite so big after all. Mm hmm. Didn't the person named Ziva say we had to go left to see someone about where people are housed in this place? They might have an idea of where we can look. Oh, and I guess we'll deliver her message at the same time, too. Well, oh, uh, hi, are you the person we speak to about housing here at the academy? Yes, are you all wishing to enroll? Oh, uh, no ma'am, we were wondering if you could tell us where someone lives, or used to live. We are looking for someone who we thought studied here, but are unsure of where they went afterwards. We are wondering if we, if we would be allowed to look around his old room, uh, to look for clues and where to go next. Name? Name? I'm sorry? Do you know the name of this person? Oh, his name is Ivan. Ivan, Ivan. Oh, yes. His room is up three flights of stairs, take a right, and then it's the first room on the right. Does this mean we're all able to go check out the room? Well, not all of you, for you are a large, larger size of a group, but a few of you can go. <sighs> okay, thank you, ma'am. So who's going? I don't mind staying behind. I'll stay as well. Someone being lazy? 
What? No, I'm just not good with really small rooms. Huh? And someone needs to stay with Zoe here. Good point. Uh, so that makes Lydia, myself, and Leo going. I guess we should get going then. Uh, see you two in a few. Oh, ma'am, almost forgot I had a message to deliver. A lady named Ziva said that she would help get it. Need help getting some ingredients for potion making soon. Okay, I'll write that down and get one of our students sent over to help her with that. Please let her know the next time you see her that we'll be helping her out soon. Will do, and thank you. Okay, so according to that lady's instructions, Ivan's room should be here. Um, wow. I uh, thought this room would have, oh, I don't know, some interesting things about it. If the guy we keep hearing about and this Ivan person are one and the same, wouldn't he be leaving something behind? And then, uh, if he just up and vanished? Huh. Yeah, the room looks too clean. What's that? What's what? Oh, that? Let me see if I can... Eh. What does it say? Um... Okay, well, let's see here. Oh. Uh, day 78. I think I've overstayed my welcome here. Not that they're trying to kick me out, just that I've learned everything I can from this place. That, and I'm not sure how long I can tone down my magic power to seem like a, that of a novice. More exhausting than I thought it would be to keep up. I was out on one of my assignments, as I found a, I found a clearing on a forested island to the southwest of Silver Cove Harbor. As a safety precaution, I'll be glimmering myself to where my magic powers slash levels are undetectable. That way, if someone tries to track me, they can't through the means of my magical aura. I do hope that whoever finds this part of my journal, that this helps them in their search. I don't want my safety precautions to make it so that people who actually need me can't find me. Anyway, I'm hoping to head out to my new home tonight or the next few days, so better get packing. Ivan. Okay, um, so it says he went somewhere where people couldn't find him. Also says that he put a damper on his magical aura so that people couldn't track him through that. It does say he re relocated somewhere southwest of Silver Cove Harbor. Maybe we should head in that direction and check it out? Hmm, that might be a good idea. Better than to keep staying in Silver Cove to try and find answers. Okay, uh, I think it's time we join the others and make a plan then? Uh, sure. Hold on. No. There's nothing in there. Um, is there anything in here? Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I don't think there's anything else here of interest anyways. So what'd you find? Um, well, we found part of a journal that said the past inhabitant of the room relocated somewhere southwest of Silver Cove. Anything else? Um, it also mentioned that he was able to hide his magic abilities from others so that he couldn't be tracked that way. My guess is he just wanted or wants to be left alone. Hate to break a solitude like this, but we need his help. So when do we get started? Well, I think we should spend the rest of the day gathering supplies and then set out tomorrow. <gasps> Oh no. Are you okay, Zoe? 
This means... It means what? Outfit changes! But I like my outfit. But... Yeah, not sure if we need a wardrobe changes, any wardrobe changes right now, Zoe. Yeah, I second that. Uh, don't think now's the time for that, Zoe. Maybe later, like if we get back to Mizuki Village. Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm holding you to your word, though, Leo. New clothes once you get back home. 